Okay, so we are back in the big pile of tubes and uh, hot on the heels of the uh, last video, which was about the Radicons, I uh, remember I had another kind of variation of it. And, uh, well, since, well, someone hack, uh, someone uh, put the uh, video up on Hackaday, thank you, by the way, uh, I figured, well, let's make uh, an addition to that video with this tube here. You can see it's in a package. Someone scribbled uh, 6890, uh, well, 94, I guess. Uh, I'm not entirely certain if that's the right tube in here, but let's take it out. This is a Graphicon, and basically it is a, a very similar to a Radicon, except it has two guns. Target in the middle. This allows you to read and write at the same time, basically. This is uh, an RCA 1855, I believe. Uh, yes, there we go. 1855, kind of a crummy number. A uh, little blurry. But yeah, this thing, Radicon on one end, and, uh, well, sort of a Radicon on the other. Uh, one does the reading, one does the writing. Now, these things were used for scan conversion and were called graphicons. Basically, you could write video from one gun and uh, say you needed a, it, it, it's writing at, well, 50 hertz, let's say, and you want to convert it to 60 hertz. Well, you write with 50 hertz with one gun and you read it off with at 60 hertz with the other gun. Now, obviously, this needed two sets of deflection uh, electrodes, and of course, a two sets of deflection amplifiers and everything like that. So the support electronics for this particular, uh, uh, the scan converter tubes was, well, daunting to say the least. And remember, because these, these are kind of precision CRTs, you really needed a very, very good deflection system, um, you know, on par with uh, you know, the, the best scopes of the day. You couldn't just throw, you know, a crummy 1950s black and white television deflection system in and expect it to work and drift all over the place. And, you know, you'd be writing places where you would ought not to write and things would blur and such like that. So you really needed to have a very good deflection system. So, yep, this needed two. This was probably an extremely expensive tube to make uh, because you basically had to make two tubes and join them at the center. Now, while looking at the center, let's let's bring that up. You can see there's the uh, there's the electrode right or the uh, the target right in the center. Unfortunately, if you can see that, let's see if you can see that. At some point, the deflection anode or deflection electrodes or amplifiers, probably the amplifiers failed because you can see a nice big burn spot right in the center. So I don't know which of the two or which which end was the culprit, but yeah, it looks like uh, we got a nice burn right in the center. So this is well not a good tube anymore, but it sure looks pretty. And you can see, yeah, it's it was made for the the military. There, you can see the uh, inspection stamp there. Uh, looks like 1955, 513. So mid 50s. So, that's about right. Alright, well, just uh, an additional uh, little video, because I, I remember I had, oh yeah, I've got this thing. It's sort of a Radicon. It's a Graphicon. It didn't make it into the, the last video. So, uh, well, let's make it another video anyway. Okay, well, thank you for the support. Um, yeah, I'm getting an awful lot of views, and people seem to be liking this stuff, so I'm going to keep making them. Uh, so, yeah, leave a like, maybe share it. And uh, hey, subscribe! Look at some uh, look at some of the past videos. I've got a bunch of weird tubes that uh, I've made videos for. Yeah, okay, the older videos are pretty crummy. Not like this is a really great production value here, but hey, bear with me. I'm new at this. Okay, well, leave a like, subscribe, share, and uh, hey, leave comments too. I love comments. Okay, talk to you later.
Oh, and if someone did mention sage in the uh, comments a hack a day. If you want to know what's in this tube here, uh, this box here, it's tongue sole box. Yeah, it's full of sage tubes. 7236s. These are, uh, I believe these were used as the core memory drivers. Basically, uh, sort of like a super beefy 6AS7, sort of. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.